All right, welcome to the Tenzu Performance Online Programming Application uh, powered by Team Builder. So I wanna show you a few things about the app that allow you to interact a little bit better and, and go through the program with a little bit more ease. So you're looking at the workout here. So this is our Pro Guys uh, Monday workout, February 17th, as you can see. Going through the bottom, our team feed, there's a few different things that we can go through and, and, uh, and put up. This is more like a social media feed here. There's a leaderboard. We don't have any rankings right now, but whatever your program looks like, the other people that are doing that workout will have leaderboard uh, or a leaderboard available for that. Here's our workout. Here's some messages if you want to message us as a coach for us to be able to reply back to form, technique, taking things in or out of the program and more. This is the big section here. So at the top, you'll see maxes and PRs. So click on that. What we want to do is make sure that you find back squat. And what I want you to do is press, press the plus bar or the plus button in the top right corner and input your max. So we'll say, we'll say our max is 315. I'm going to set that as my current max. And I want to do that for our barbell back squat as well as our barbell bench press. Barbell bench press here, plus we'll say it's 225, set as current max, and good. So if we have our barbell back squat and barbell bench press, the algorithm within the system will put in our guesstimated maxes and reps and, and sets and, and volume for all our other exercises. So if we can have that in, Whenever you start the programming, that will give you numbers for every other lift based off of these maxes. If you do not know those maxes, it's not a big deal. Go ahead and start your program, input the exercise or the weights that you feel like you're comfortable with, and it'll automatically populate a guesstimated max for you. And then as you continue moving forward with the program and get a little bit better with it, increase your weights, it will continue to automatically populate throughout your program and give you a guesstimated max as you continue to progress forward. So starting off the program, if you could get that, that back squat and bench press in, that would be great. And then the account information, you can edit that, edit what type of emails that you get from the system and everything else. So let's go into our workout. Here's our workout. So we'll start with our ground warm up. If we click on that, here's the different exercises that we have there. We can swipe to go to the next thing. And say you're looking at table program three and you don't know what that is. So you're going to press the red video icon in the top right. That'll pull up our, um, our YouTube video demonstration of the actual exercise. So every exercise that you have should have a video demonstration involved with it. Okay. So here well, we are going through uh, table show we'll program this three. Table. This is more of an extended, we'll uh, have extended video, but for the most part, um, let's see if we can get into another one. So let's go prone plow ball drops. If we cr press the video there and pop up, this is a, let's say 20, 30 second video on, so on what that looks like. So well, 56 drops. seconds, but the uh, for the most part, it's, it doesn't take you too long table. to look at these videos and, and see what's going on. Let's go to, let's say lunge position, banded ER plus press. I don't know what that is, or I wanna change the exercise. So bottom left, I will click opt out. Say I don't have a band or say we're doing a squat or a barbell deadlift, we don't have the bar. So we'll say lack of equipment or we can just say other reason. I will select that and then I'll go and change this workout. And we'll say we just have dumbbells here, we don't have a band, I wanna do some shoulder work. So I'll click on three-way shoulder, I'll save it. I can put an explanation if I want to, if not, no big deal. Press the check mark and your workout is now changed due to the equipment that you have or do not have. And you don't necessarily have to put any reason. So there you go, and we've clicked it. We've done the exercise, green check, we're good to go. Bottom right is a, a note section. And if I, I'm trying to check my form, I'm gonna do a video, I can access uh, at my camera or my video so I can video myself or if I've already videoed it I can access my library and we can post that and have the coaches look at it and, and reply back on, on what your form looks like and all that so those are a few different things um, that allow you to go through your workout a little bit easier and be able to um, 
reach out to the coach if, if y'all need us, and also look at the video demonstrations for every exercise. As you can tell here, our A group, so say we have one set for our table program, two for our three-way shoulder, and two for our ball drops, we're gonna go um, everything in the A block first. Once you've completed all your sets, go to your B block. Once you've completed all the sets there, we'll go to C, and then moving forward, obviously you will just continue moving forward with that. Most exercises are gonna have some type of um, implementation, so the percentage here, we have 75% of our dumbbell bench based off of that uh, barbell bench press that we put in. So our guesstimated weight should be 75 pounds. If we were gonna go lower than that, go ahead and input your weight. Again, this is gonna continue to populate down the line for us, so make sure every weight is inputted. And moving forward, say we got up to 90 pounds, great, good deal, save it, and we're good to go. So this is a very good platform for us to be able to use. Um, it's only as good as you are, so make sure that you are implementing or putting in all the exercises and the weights and, and sets that you're doing. Um, if you don't do something, delete it so we can know that moving forward. The more you put in the system, the more we can look back at and um, have some, some data points for us to see uh, our progression moving forward. So that's uh, in brief what the app looks like. Thank you guys for joining us, and let's get after it.